Queen brushed aside any personal ill feelings to carry out a virtual engagement via video link from Windsor Castle. Her Majesty was seen smiling as she appeared via video link on Friday morning for an audience at Buckingham Palace. Despite private anguish, she will be suffering in the wake of yet another TV interview by her grandson, Prince Harry. The 95-year-old monarch beamed widely as she virtually welcomed the new Singapore High Commissioner, Lim Huan Kuan, who presented the letters of recall of his predecessor and his own letters of commission. She appeared via video link from Windsor Castle, where she has spent most of the last year while the dignitary was at Buckingham Palace. The monarch also welcomed the new Ugandan ambassador, His Excellency Dr. Cesar Rodriguez Zavala, who presented the letters of recall of his predecessor and his own letters of credence. Dressed in a flattering pink pastel ensemble, Her Majesty smiled broadly as she spoke to the dignitaries over video. Her public appearances come hours after her grandson Prince Harry's Apple TV Plus series on mental health dropped online. The new docuseries, called The Me You Can't See, saw the royal address traumatic memories from his childhood, including the death of his mother, Princess Diana, and harassment on social media of he and his wife, Meghan Markle. Harry also told host Oprah Winfrey his family did not speak about Diana's passing and said he and his wife felt abandoned by his relatives and this was one of their biggest reasons for leaving for California last year. He told Oprah, Certainly now I will never be bullied into silence, adding, I thought my family would help, but every single ask, request, warning, whatever it is, just got met with total silence, total neglect. We spent four years trying to make it work. We did everything that we possibly could to stay there and carry on doing the role and doing the job. But Megan was struggling. He added, that feeling of being trapped within the family, there was no option to leave. Eventually, when I made that decision for my family, I was still told, you can't do this. And it's like, well, how bad does it have to get until I'm allowed to do this? She, Megan, was going to end her life. It shouldn't have got to that. The series comes just weeks after Harry appeared to suggest his father, Prince Charles, the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh had failed as parents. Speaking on the Armchair Expert podcast, the Duke said he wanted to break the cycle of genetic pain and suffering for the sake of his own children. He said of Charles, he treated me the way he was treated, so how can I change that for my own kids? In the new series, Harry continued to talk about this with Oprah. My father used to say to me when I was younger, he used to say to both William and I, well, it was like that for me, so it's going to be like that for you. Per the Mail Online, royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams said, there is now clearly a huge gulf between the royal family and the Sussexes. The Queen urged that the issues be dealt with privately as a family. Meghan and Harry don't seem to be heeding that at all, Richard said. The other problem is that when you're dealing with a couple who are erratic, you don't know what's coming. Harry's biographer, Angela Levine, said Prince Charles was particularly hurt by Harry's repeated criticism of his parenting and Harry's claims he was made to suffer. She said, Harry seems to be stuck in this and some of the things he said about his father, for example, that he didn't have it very good as a child, therefore Harry and William must have it too. She added, I find that extremely hard to believe because Prince Charles did his absolute best. Maybe he wasn't the best parent, but I don't know how many people who are perfect parents. The Apple TV series was released in full online just four hours after his brother Prince William issued an extraordinary attack on the BBC for ruining their mother Princess Diana's life after her panorama interview with rogue reporter Martin Bashir in 1995. But despite a judge-led inquiry finally confirming their mother was deceived into doing the show, her friends say began a chain of events leading directly to her passing in Paris less than two years later.